Okay, so K Cadet or Quasar, as I said, I would call you in the previous video. Weaken this fuck and give Captain Everett some EXP. Let's see. Uh, I'm gonna stick with this. All right, do the spinny. Yes! Oh, look at that shit. Everett finally showing his worth in battle by defeating some dragons. Where you at, son? And why is your portrait so much darker? And holy shit, that fucking growth thing sucked. Donkey fucking dick. Like, straight up. Like, really kinky donkey dick sucking. <laughs> uh, Alright, so I guess we'll just waste some fucking turns. Oh, that's cool. They have the rain calm down a bit. That's, that's like a nice little attention to detail. Oh, wow, you do fuck loads of damage. Looks like I'm gonna have to give you the, the, the quesadilla powers. So, she ch her name changed from Cadet to Quasar to Quesadilla. Keep this in mind, ladies and gentlemen. Very important for the plot. Sexy race and transition. transition. I'm not gonna use the feather yet. I don't feel like I need it. All right, please don't ambush spawn me. I have a feeling that's gonna happen. Oh, fuck. The glitch is gonna show up. Yeah, that's like the second time you've fucking done that shit. Like, quickly. <laughs> oh, that's pretty clever. Yep, there, there, there is the glitch. Where the... Where the fuck... Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah, that's pretty fucked up. A curse from the forgotten. Ooh. What is your move? Oh, it's just two. Okay. Vantage, Nihil, Dark Horror. Alright, so. Fuck do killing this guy the quick way. Let's just fucking... I mean, the slow way. Let's just fucking straight up murder this guy as quickly as possible. Because we do not have the time nor the luxury. Yeah, so one of the suggestions I told to Abraxas is that I feel like knights should always have four move. It's nice that he gave knights, you know, actual movement, because it makes them less noticeably horrible. Um, but I was like, yeah, but, you know, that's kind of the point of the knights. It, it gives them their specific personality. Uh, but now I kind of understand why the fuck he would be averse to that idea. Because, uh, yeah, I have a feeling that our good old buddy Captain uh, Lollipants would struggle in this chapter by virtue of simply this fuck showing up. It would leave a huge opening, if you will. Whoa! So, let's just weaken. Uh, oh. Okay, good. I'm... Oh, what the... Oh, that's right! Great shield! So that's what, that explains our little panic attack right there. And you know what, children? It's okay to have panic attacks every now and then. Because panicking is... the best way to behave. I don't know. In some cases, it is. I think it'd be hilarious if, um, like, the, what we had to do was have Ko fight these two people. Because if I remember right, Ko would actually fight the enemies. Uh, and that would be a rather creative way to defeat the boss, in my opinion. I don't want to do this, but I might have to step on the thing. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna put a save state here, because I don't know what it is, but I... Something is telling me this is a bad idea to visit this. Alright, so. Oh, that just brings the rain back, huh? Ah, the. <laughs> yep, Keo definitely did beat Avraxis in the fourth Rage Fest. Oh, that's sweet. No. Oh, okay. 
Oh wait, this is gonna be sarcastic. Alright. I think that was trying too hard to be two things at once. That dialogue was a little, uh, a little clunky in my opinion. Alright, so what the fuck does this do for us? Okay, so it lowers his movement to jack shit. Good to know. This is gonna be kind of tough, huh? Yeah, and Yin... Fuck. How am I gonna approach them? Okay, so I guess the first thing I should do is I should get, uh... Cheaper axis over there so that he can tank. Because let's see. Yeah, Cheaper axis has the best defense. And. Not the best HP. Oh, wait. Yeah, he does have the best HP. Max HP. Okay, so yeah, he's gonna be the obvious choice for this part. Oh, yeah, that's, let's have him talk. So I know that I I know now that this is supposed to be like a dream in Chibarax's head. I agree. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? You don't have a horse. Yeah, there we go. Now he's back in reality. I like the uh, the previous uh, term he used. It was some, I think ve feminine vials or something. I thought that was oh wait oh yeah that's right these two can talk. They get their maxed out support conversation now. Zoop. All right, have them talk now. I'll know about dependable. <laughs> With that fucking crit rate and the lack of crits. <laughs> fuck yeah. <laughs> oh, that was that was cute. The way he was like, fuck yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'd certainly fucking do that if I got a date with a girl. With a kawaii desu girl. Oh, Ooh, so kawaii. My peen can't handle. Anyway, speaking of peens, Chibarax just needs to get his peen out of the gutter so that he can fight the fucking boss. Oh, yeah. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. The fight of the century. Dane Cook versus Louis C.K. I don't know. What? Mark. What's with the dumb thoughts again? Alright, so you do your dumb shit. Okay, only three damage. Good. Now I need to worry about Fancy Slicer, on the other hand, because that means that you're gonna get a fucking gross-as-fuck critical hit. Oh, you're just... Or not. You're just gonna fucking stand in place. I don't think you have the lazy-ass skill. So what the fuck is going on? Alright, well, I mean, I'll take the opportunity as it comes. How much damage do you do? You have- Oh, that's why he doesn't jump in, because he can't even fucking damage my fucking midget man. Oh, that's how I like it, baby! Oh, yeah, 
he's wearing that mask. He's just gonna stand there like, yeah, I'm just gonna let you murder me. <laughs> I need to get that somehow, which means I have to steal the iron rune. I have enough speed to do it. Just curious. Yeah, you can't harm. So what I really have to do in actuality is I need to somehow, I need to kill Yang first. But wait, then I don't get the fucking Ragnarok. All right, so I guess I need to make a choice between the two because I don't think, yeah, I don't think Everett's gonna be able to survive both shots. He just doesn't have the that in him. So, all right, so that this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna we're gonna kill Yin, and the other one we're gonna steal the shed. Here's some fucking Japanese as fuck music here. Yay! Defense. Okay, good. So, it's unfortunate that I don't get the other thing, but Cheap Raxus is mainly meant for fucking destroying shit. Not for, uh... Well, he's meant for enemy phase, not so much for destroying enemies. Oh no! Two damage! Oh, you shouldn't have. Wow. Oh, you're gonna attack the other dude? Oh boy, wow, what a fucking... You want a Nobel Prize for that shit? Ooh, I gotta level up from not doing anything! Oh, uh, we're being straight up Luigi from Mario Party here now. Okay, so I rush in, weaken him, and... Uh, yeah, okay, so let's fucking, let's take the, let's take the gamble. Meanwhile, Ryukazi, you have to buy us time! Stand here! I know that your death could be certain with this decision. But for the good of the land, you must hold back the catastrophe that awaits us. Good luck! Oh, fucking jeez, that hurts so much. It makes my happiness just a tiny bit less. Okay, so now... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, that's right, okay, so... That's an easy fix. Just take the moldy bread, and we wait, and then steal the Crocs. Good. Okay, so we got the Crocs. Splendito. Wow, look at that lag. It's all sorts of amazing. Okay, so don't get a crit, you fuck. Good. Okay, so now we have a perfect setup to get the Ragnarok and to destroy the fuck out of this bitch. Just full up, straight up death. And if I fuck up somehow, then we're good. All right, firstly, do you have Vantage? No, you don't, okay. Yeah, whoa, holy shit, Aster, what the fuck? And just to check one more time, yes, you have the Ragnarok. There doesn't seem to be anything else here. I can't float over these. Okay, so the rest is just background. Let's fucking finish up this chapter, babies! Ooh! And that takes care of that. Wow, first try. Oh, it's the game over theme for uh, Tales of Hurt. <laughs> oh, it's, it's... That's rather cute. All right, so now we're gonna get another anime cutscene, maybe. And... Okay, good. No inventory space management. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, they're gonna join our team, maybe, hopefully, I think.
Yeah, so I don't think they're going to join our team because they got to seal the gates. Which means they can't come inside. Oh, no. We'll, we'll just have to see. I'm trying to think. Okay. I wonder what all this open space could have been for. Is this... Okay, so Hermitage... Who's that referring to? I mean... This design looks familiar. It looks like... Just another Rage Fest submission by Hi There. Yeah. I like smart smart girls who are also cute and adorable and, and squishy. Oh, yeah! There we go! Ryukaze X Aster. Oh, okay, so now they're coming. He's the antagonist all along! I have a feeling. Any of her mysterious enemies. Okay. Oh, fuck, it's me! God, I'm such a lanky guy. <laughs> well, it turns out the ult ultimate hyperbolic time capsule made me your age. Except for Avraxis. Well, because Mari, even though you want to be overpowered and a fucking god mod suit, doesn't mean you are one. <laughs> this totally look, this totally looks like a situation I'd be stuck in. Just fucking tile spam mountains everywhere. <laughs> of course. <laughs> oh, that's totally, totally something I would say. It's fucking unintuitive bullshit. It's always the fucking tiny cute ones that are evil. Are you yeah, of course. <laughs> oh my god. That's way too fucking... 
that's like way too fucking true to life in a way. Everybody is evil except for me. I'm better than everybody. <laughs> Just so you guys know, Mari and I are friends, so I'm allowed to make fun of her now. <laughs> Wouldn't be the fucking wiser. Oh, yes. The usage of fucking is perfect here. Wait a minute, inescapable? Inescapable dim dimension? What's the player phase theme? Inescapable fate? Da 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 Oh my god, I fucking called it! <laughs> oh, fucking perfect! It's not even set to loom correctly, no! But time here passed a lot faster than here. Oh, Jesus. I don't wish that upon anybody. Oh, yeah, Giger Flare from, uh, what's it called? It's that submission, F.exe. Oh, yes. All right, all right, Aunt Mari, it's time for me to Michael Bay you. <laughs> of course. course. Oh shit! Oh god, F star EXE. The fucking events were catastrophic, man. Well, that explains why Aster has such long hair. God, what a bitch. Alright, so... Let's see. Okay, so that means that Raisin might not actually be real in this setting. Oh, shit. His rage! He broke free because of his sheer rage. In the final chapter, I'm calling it now. Oops, I didn't mean to. I didn't read that text. 
in the final chapter, he's gonna gain a superpower that's just sheer unadulterated rage. He's gonna he's gonna finally follow in his father's footsteps, and with the sheer power of his anger, he'll destroy everything. an item called potential and then not use it on him because you just glaze over the item screen <laughs> oh man <laughs> okay so what is the ch title of this one Roads end. Oh, snap. And I'll just quickly show the map. Uh, this looks a lot like the final map of Tales of Pert. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Marky Joe 1990 signing out. Ooh, what's going to happen next? Find out soon. I need someone to review my FE to be someone who won't cut me slack. It's Monkey Joe, he's arrived from his golden chariot. And down he walks the road browser gang. What the hell you got? Monkey Joe! These ambush bombs just don't do it for me.